Casey, you just finished a private lesson. Um, from 90 minutes ago until now, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel like I've uh, some things that have like made immediate improvements on my game, fixed a lot of problems I've been having. And then uh, I also have things I can work on to improve myself with forward too. Okay. Going farther now? Yeah, I threw a mid-range like 50 feet farther than I was throwing it. Right, that's pretty cool. So you're throwing the, your Buzz 350 now. Well, I threw my Buzz 350. We'll see if I do that every time. <laughs> no, you will because the, we removed all the excess working parts that were unnecessary, which means you will now be consistent. Yeah. You couldn't be consistent when you had to replicate all these things that were not necessary to throw. So that got fixed. Um, you already had a good sidearm, but we, we made some big changes to it anyway. How do you feel? Uh, I feel like, you know, with anything, whenever you change something, immediately you're going to have to get used to what you change. But I can feel it as it's leaving my hand, it's going a lot faster. Yeah, for sure. So I know that once I get that dialed in, I'm going to be crushing it. Yeah, for sure. And the thing about sidearm, it's about throwing farther because the accuracy kind of just happens. You're throwing this object at something you're facing. You can throw a sidearm fairly accurately. Uh, the mechanics of yeah. throwing a backhand accurate and the mechanics. Yeah, so with the sidearm, it's definitely about throwing farther because the accuracy just happens automatically with the sidearm. I mean, you're throwing an object that way at something. I mean, being accurate with the sidearm is fairly routine when the mechanics are right. I mean, with the backhand, there's all these things we have to do with lines to get accuracy. But the sidearm accuracy just comes. So really, it's about just getting more pop, more distance. Accuracy is just there. And you can feel that, though? Yeah, definitely. Going out way faster. That's perfect. And you think that's a good, some good putting tips? Oh, definitely. Your putt's gonna be better now for sure. You still gotta practice. Uh, of course, there's no putting technique that allows you to get good without putting in the work. In but your dreams, maybe. In your dreams. <laughs> but the mechanics are good. You know, if your mechanics aren't right in the putt, if you're doing something wrong, like that one thing you were doing, you're feeling here. Like you practice all day, you're never gonna be good. Now with the mechanics right, you just have to do it. You'll actually get better. So yeah. So you got it, man. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. And I live in Galveston on the weekends.